reporting to you how one of Governor Shapiro's top aides is out of a job after being accused of sexual harassment. Tonight we know a lot more about the settlement, but as Dennis Owens reports, there are some details we likely will never know. A degree of transparency, a 14 page response to our right to know request revealing names and numbers, nearly $200,000 to the person who accused Shapiro staffer Mike Verb of sexual harassment, nearly a hundred grand more to her two attorneys. And I will say this, Dennis, I don't think taxpayers are gonna be really happy when they find out that their tax dollars went for what looks like a cover-up of bad behavior. Would it have been transparent had you not done that right to no request? I don't think so. Republican lawmakers want to know when the governor knew of the allegations, which were lodged in March, and why nothing happened to Verb until September. The administration insists it followed procedure and has a robust and fair process to protect all employees. Governor Shapiro isn't the first governor to have a sexual harassment scandal in his office, but he has built a national profile on being an advocate for victims, but he can't even protect the victims in his own office. The governor's office dismisses that, saying Shapiro has a long track record and takes a backseat to no one in standing up for victims. All sides agreed to the settlement in it. The governor's office denies wrongdoing, but its spokesman notes such cases can lead to protracted and expensive legal fights, which it wanted to avoid. A non-disclosure is part of the deal. None of the involved parties can talk about it, but women of the opposite party can and are. So the taxpayers have a right to know where their taxpayer dollars are going, that they're going to silence victims with a taxpayer dollar funded settlement and an NDA and to cover up the predatory behavior of his right hand man. I think it just shows that the system is broken. I'm told female lawmakers in both the House and Senate are working on bills to tighten the system around non-disclosure agreements and use of public money on such settlements. At the state capitol, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.